Hey guys, Chloe here. So it's been a bit of a mission. I have made so many um, of these videos for my gear and I just muck up one thing and be like, oh shit, I've got to start again. Um, and I just said shit. Hey guys, um, Chloe here. So yeah, I finally have all my gear for the PCT. Yay! <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, it's crazy to think because so much research goes into it all and still even now you're like, oh, can I add some gas in? Oh no, 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 you can't because you need a really good base weight. And then you're like, oh, you know, can I? No, no, you can't. But <laughs> that's what's going through my head all the time. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I've got all my gear. I may change my mind on a couple of things, as you do. Um, yes, but here it is. Hey guys, so this is all my gear for the PCT. Um, it's crazy to think I have completely taken over the whole deck, <laughs> just to show you guys this. But I swear, I don't actually have that much stuff. It's just very spread out. I'll just go through my big three. Uh, firstly, I have the MacPack Epic 600. It is 800 loft and goes down to minus 10, which is fantastic for me because I get extremely cold. For my second item, I have my backpack. It is the EJ58. I have swapped in my pack so many times and this one I've just found so comfortable. I love it. And I've just got this wee man that I need to attach and then I'll be set. I've taken off the brain of the pack and some wiring as well, or well, string I should say. Uh, I just found it was unnecessary weight. I've left some of it on at the bottom uh, just because I'm going to attach my tent that way. I found if I didn't have the tent there that the bag would just always collapse forward. Unfortunate but uh, problem solved. I've also added on a very stylish beautiful design a shoulder pack that my auntie Jo gave me uh, which will house my phone cords and um, some snacks as well so I went with the Neo Hornet for my tent it is a two person which I know is practically five star accommodation but a girl has to have some luxuries of life I did also have their ground sheet unfortunately I did love it like it was super durable but it was just too heavy so Daniel's given me some Tyvek which is 97 grams for my electronics I don't have much um, my power bag is 1500 milliamps I am going to change that out um, 15,000 I should say I am going to change out the power bag it is way too heavy it's 430 grams so I'm hoping to get into the 300 zone for my headlamp I've gone for the black diamond the headband is super comfortable it's easy to use and it's got the red light for hiking at night and then I've just got a charger and cord over here I have just a wee notebook I'll be bringing with me a Air New Zealand pen and some Luco tape for all the little scrapes I may get along the way then for my sleeping system I have the Cedar Summit pillow which I know is also a wee, a wee luxury item again um, so that's the Eros ultralight I also have the Thimarest Air extra light for my sleeping pad um, it's just super comfortable hopefully there'll be no wear and tears but I've heard it's a wonderful product and I've gone for the stuff sack along with that one just to help fill it up at night just makes one job a bit quicker and more easier on me then along here I have my cooking system so for my cooking system I've just gone for a BRE stove stove here um, it's not super sturdy when it comes to wind so I've made a windshield to go along with it pot cozy um, for my pot I've gone for the Vargo Titanium Bolt 700 and it's got the measurements on the side which I love 
also seal so I can cold soak. I've gone for just an AliExpress situation for a titanium long spoon. Microfiber towel to clean everything, a mini bic. Um, for my actual food bag, this is just a stuff sack for from Kathmandu with the little hook on it. So, but it's waterproof. I'm gonna have those um, plastic odor free bags to put inside it. I've made my own bear hanging kit, so I've just got some paracord. I have used my um, bag for my pillow uh, for my rocks and just a snap hook. Yeah, so they will attach that and she'll be alright. Knife, I've just gone for a Leatherman, really good brand, highly recommend. For my water system, I've gone for the Micro Soya Squeeze. Uh, it has the same flow rate for water as the normal soya, so why not save a couple of grams. Also has fantastic reviews. So this is going to hook on to my Noc Vecto 2 litre. This will be my dirty water bag. Um, this one unhooks and you can just scoop straight for a water source. And then I'll have four 1 litre smart water bottles. So... For the toilet situation, I've got some antibacterial wipes, I've folded my paper all neatly and I've gone for a deuce spade. So some people just go with um, their hiking poles and just, you know, um, make a hole that way but oh no, I think if you're in a rush, this guy will be, <laughs> be the aim of the game and I love the colour because you know, you're, you're digging for gold. Um, I've got a wee hygiene kit here and first aid but I'll probably go into those in another post. So moving on to clothes. This is going to be what I wear on day to day basis. I've got some tights from Lululemon. If you haven't ever tried Lululemon um, as a brand they are fantastic. Their tights are so comfortable. I've got some beautiful gaiters just from AliExpress. I'm not really one for hats. Um, but I've just got a mini bucket hat that will keep my ears from being too crispy. Got a merino buffer, some sun gloves which are leather, super grippy. I went for a Columbia long sleeve top uh, which will be the one I wear every single day basically. It's really breathable, love it. Um, just a sports bra, some icebreaker undies. Daniel gave me these Mac Pack Merino socks for Christmas, so thanks Daniel. And for my spare clothes, I have some Kathmandu shorts with a zip up pocket, another pair of the socks Daniel gave me, and a Merino tee. Um, this one, it changes out the fabric where um, it's the Merino wears and tears easily. But I think I might change it out just to a normal merino just to get the weight down a little bit more. For, oh yeah, and some more icebreaker undies, of course. Uh, for my sleeping system, another luxury item. I know, I have a lot. <laughs> uh, I have some possum and merino socks, some icebreaker long johns, a long merino blend top, and I have a merino and possum hat. I love this hat because I can cover my ears if I want to. Uh, and it's also my mum's, so thanks for letting me have that, mum. <laughs> and some possum and merino gloves. My mid layer, I'm obsessed with. It's merino. It's brushed on the inside, so it's beautiful, nice and warm. Um, like Daniel, I'll probably bring it with me and then make up my mind as to if I'll send it ahead or not. For my rain jacket, I've just got a bright pink Mermont jacket, so won't get lost very easily in this situation. Bug net, because those critters are very frustrating. And then for my puffy, I've just got an Uber Mac pack. And that is all my gear. Yeah, so as I say, I'll go through my hygiene and first aid another day. Thanks for watching. Cheers.